So this is the BitX40 low pass filter for seven megahertz. And you can see uh, C160, C162. Um, turn it around a little bit here. There you go, C160, 61, 62, and you can see 63 in there. And what I'm going to do is disconnect this from C155, because you can see that C155 connects to both uh, L5 and C160. So I'm going to cut that trace right now. And that's going to give us an insertion point for a 20 meter filter, uh, very much like I did for the bandpass filter. All right, so I wish I had grabbed a little bit of a sharper knife. I use my Gerber suspension, which, uh, as many of you know, I use for just about everything. Um, even when I probably shouldn't use it, it's what I have on hand. And you can see I have scored uh, the board there. It wasn't supposed to rhyme. Scored the board, and I cut that trace. And uh, so now the low-pass filter and that little trace between C155 and C160 uh, which is upside down, is cut. So now we're going to use that in point to wire in a 20 meter low pass filter. So basically I'm going to run a jumper from C155 over to a low pass filter. And that low pass filter will connect on the other side of L6. Uh, right where it says P4, that little solder point, that's where it's going to connect. So it's going to jump right over the uh, uh, 40 meter low pass filter, and the circuit won't know the better. Won't know otherwise. I'm just going to use this little. Uh, let's see where did it go? Going to use this little guy, little five volt um, relay, and it will close that gap when it's norm normally closed. It'll close that gap right there. And then when I switch to the 20 meter bandpass filter, it will do that. So that's exactly what I've done over here for the 20 meter uh, bandpass filter. And uh, of course, that I also I originally did this for the 20 meter or 80 meter bandpass filter, and it works and that works too. So if I want to switch to 80 meters, 60 meters, 40, well, not 40, 80, 60, um, 30, or 20, I have bandpass filters for all those. Uh, I just need to swap that out. And then the 20 meter bandpass or uh, low pass filter will work for um, 20 and also 30. And the 40 megahertz filter, or 40, 40 meter filter, the one on the board, will work for 80 and 60 as well. So that way we can get multiple bands. I could switch them out, but that's just, I don't really need more than two bands at the same time. So I'm going to work on that. And I cleaned this up, by the way. If you look on, on the website, um, when I originally did this, it was nasty with like, I had to use two different, um, well, let's see, where are they? And like magic, there they are. I had to use those two big old things because I didn't have a five volt and a 12 volt. Uh, and I, this was a five volt single pull, single switch. This one's a 12 volt, double pull, double switch. So I had, to, <laughs> uh, since the, since this guy is five volts, um, I, and the only relay I had was the 12 volt one. Yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So I'm gonna do some soldering and maybe some hot gluing, we'll see. And we'll come back to this in a minute. All right, we're back, we've been burning some solder. And uh, here's where we're at. So I had originally said that I wanted to put the uh, output for the 20 meter low pass filter right at the end of uh, T is, or, uh, L6. And that's exactly what I've done. You can see the solder there. And I've checked uh, continuity and it's good. Uh, one thing I didn't mention previously was the ground. And so um, the ground for the 20 meter low pass filter just grounds to one of the uh, uh, capacitors on the uh, uh, 40 meter low pass filter where it grounds. So they share ground there, no big deal. I do the same thing at the band pass filter. And then there was really no good place to put, oh, there's my meter there. Uh, that's my new meter, by the way. 
thirty. It's Innova thirty three twenty. Got it for twenty bucks on Amazon. Great meter, excellent, uh, uh, accurate ammeter. That's my favorite thing about it. All my other ones, I've got a couple of Craftsman ones, a couple of uh, uh, Harbor Freight ones, which are just you know junk, but they they do most measurements well, uh, well enough anyway. This one actually is really nice. It's better than any of the ones I have, and it's only like twenty one or twenty dollars, I think, um, when I bought it. Uh, your price may go up or down, whatever. But uh, anyway, uh, enough about that. So um, next up is installing this little guy and running a jumper from. So I'll use my handy dandy pointer here. Running a jumper from. <laughs> Oops! Come on now. So let's get to some light here. Running a jumper from here and here to the relay. And then also uh, connecting this to the relay. And that will complete the installation of the 20 meter filter. It's only taken me a few minutes. So we're doing so far. So far, so good. All right. More solder has been destroyed and sacrificed to the BIDX40 temple, or altar, I should say. And uh, I think this kind of explains itself, but I'm going to explain it anyway. So from C155, we've got a wire attached going to the center pin on... There's my pointer here. Right there. And that's the center pin. This is normally closed, which goes to the uh, L6, or L5 rather. And this one is normally open, which goes to the 20 meter filter, and which then again connects down here. And so I've just got to switch this with uh, five volts right here. That's easy to do. That's what I'm gonna be doing next. And um, we've, got a, we've got us a uh, low pass filter switch. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up for the night and uh, I've got other things to do like sleep probably and um, hope you enjoyed the video.